tell me where would the Satan come from? Where would the devil come from? When you've already set the atmosphere of your of, of, of your night, when you've already set the atmosphere that 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 will welcome God, that will welcome the Holy Spirit to speak to you through dreams and visions. Yes. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Promise. I came from Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome to my channel where I film about faith, lifestyle, singlehood, educational content, and um things that has to do with um and any other thing <laughs> that comes in between so today i'll be talking about dreams why is it that some people don't dream and why is it that even when some people tend to dream they tend to forget and um even when they tend to remember they'll be like it could just be that they were seeing themselves doing something funny so it'll be like they were eating food in the dream they were doing this or doing that have you ever wondered why you don't dream do you dream? Why? Are you sure you dream? And if you don't remember your dream, here are what to do to help you remember your dreams. So let's jump right into the video. And before I forget, I want to welcome all my returning subscribers who always return to watch my videos and to my new subscribers. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to comment, and most of all, click on the notification bell to get notifications whenever I post new video. So let's jump right into the video. It's really quite amazing, like how astonishing it is that we take time to prepare for work, we take time to prepare to, to go to school, we take time to make, do makeup, we take time to do so many things we do in life, but we had to take time to prepare to sleep. Why? Okay, like even before I started filming this video, I took time to like set my camera, my lights, the background, and all those stuff. I took time to do that. But we are so negligent of the fact that we need to prepare ourselves, our spirit, our soul, and our body before we go to sleep. So why most of us don't actually dream? dream whenever they sleep or whenever the or even if they tend to dream they tend to dream one crazy dreams like that or they even tend to like um not even remember what they dreamt of but the scripture made me to understand in job chapter 33 verse 15 to 16 it said in a dream in a vision that uh, in a dream innovation okay I think I'm gonna put it here for you guys to see yes I'm going to put the scripture here for you guys to see is that in a dream innovation when men are in um, deep sleep in a slumbering what does God do he do it what he opens their ear and select instructions so why don't we get get to understand or remember the instructions which God has given to us either um, true dreams or true visions one is majorly because we don't prepare and we all know that when preparation meets opportunity it gives better success okay so okay so how do I prepare to sleep every night what are the things I should do to be able to dream to be able to remember my dreams and not dream crazy stops yes what am I supposed to do one Take a cool bath. Yes. Like after the day's stress and everything, you're supposed to like take time to like freshen up yourself, like brush your teeth, take a new bed, dress up in your 90s and get ready to sleep. You, pre you prepare yourself mentally to sleep. And then you try to meditate too. You try to meditate on the things that have happened within the day. Who have you offended? Who do I need to apologize to? Like, where did I get it wrong? Then, when you meditate, while you're meditating, you tend to like, oh God, I offended this. I sinned in this way. Please forgive me. You ask for forgiveness. Then you take communion. You take communion. Yes, you take communion, purging yourself, cleansing and purifying yourself with the blood of Jesus. Yes, the body and the blood of Jesus. Take the Holy Communion. Study your Bible. Remember the scripture said, study to show yourself approved study your bible every day and also try to listen to messages 
like I know most of us, like because of our social media, whenever we want to sleep, like we are ready to sleep and relaxed on the bed. The next thing we do is just we grab our phones and either um, doing Instagram or Facebooking or WhatsApp, replying messages and all those stuff. And funny enough, we end up sleeping in between do, um, Instagramming or Facebooking or re responding to so um, to WhatsApp messages. We just end up sleeping in between and we tend to now dream about the stops we we are actually doing before we slept so that's why most people they do have crazy dreams and you see some most people say they even be watching movies so some people will be watching porno the people will be watching silly stops like um uh, movies that have to do with witchcraft and shootings and all those stuff and when they sleep definitely what kind of dream are you expecting to have you definitely have a dream yeah somebody was shooting or oh, witchcraft <laughs> if it's not a dog that is pushing you it will be a masquerade that is pushing you what do you expect when you are actually preparing your mind like preparing your, <laughs> yourself with those kind of things before going to bed so we have to be really conscious of what we do and what we listen to before we go to bed then like i was saying like i was saying you need to like listen to messages play worship songs like do things that you know ah oh god I'm, I'm i'm ready i'm prepared to like receive the instruction which you are sealing into my ears because the scripture said if you go further to read in that job 33 you get to find out that you get to find out that when um okay that god actually reveals his instructions for man for our own good but when a man it's not able to decode those instructions you see that that's when the man becomes depressed it'll be like people are pushing you your village is pushing you <laughs> and you might not know the way forward like what next to do what's the next step of your life and all those stops and what do you expect what do you expect okay so um you expected to like listen to messages teachings that will enlighten your spirit i repeat that will enlighten your spirit and i need you to understand that your sleep is the most important part of your day listen to worship songs you dance unto the lord like you dance 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 unto the lord then lie down and meditate on god meditate on his goodness his faithfulness remember the scripture said in philippians chapter 4 verse 8 that when Apostle Paul was selling the Philippians, he told them that whatsoever things that are good, whatsoever things that are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, if there be any praise, if there be any virtue, think on this thing. These are things you should think on. These are things you should meditate on before you lie down to sleep. So you need to meditate on God. Meditate on His goodness. Meditate on His faithfulness before you sleep. Then when you are done meditating, you can now sleep and then have visions. But when you choose to like watch cartoons and things that that won't help your dream life what do you expect you now see somebody like Tom pushing you and then the next thing you see yourself running like Jerry <laughs> but when we choose to gossip backbite like um do unnecessary things that we're not supposed to do before we go to sleep then what do we expect our dream life to look like but when you choose to meditate you think you worship god you speak in tongues you praise him you love on god you study books like good books not good books yeah study your bible take communion and all those things and all those stuff tell me where would the satan come from where would the devil come from when you've already set the atmosphere of your of of, of your night when you've already set the atmosphere that 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 will welcome god that will welcome the holy spirit to speak to you through dreams and visions yes so we really need to like take this step serious like take it take um this thing serious we get directions and instructions from god because he said that he said he daily okay no the scripture said that he will teach and guide me on which way to go so if god is teaching and guiding your true dreams how will you know if you do not get to dream so you need to so how will you know the way to, so how will you know the instructions to obey the directions to take in your life so wait imagine if you do this every day of your life imagine you spend 
one hour two hours praying imagine if we spend one hour two hours praising god loving on him worshiping him and um speaking in tongues like blessing god and all those and all of that and all of that you can imagine what our life is going to be, look like what our life is going to be it's going to be so beautiful our life will be heaven on earth and bringing the will of god here on earth so i need you to like stop wasting time backbiting stop wasting time gossiping stop wasting time thinking on who loves you and who doesn't love you stop wasting time thinking of on who has hurt you and who has not hurt you spend time to worship god spend time loving on god spend time speaking in tongues spend time praying spend time listening to messages that will edify you before going to sleep so that you can be able to get the instructions that god has for your life just like i read in the scripture job chapter 33 verse 15 to 16 said in a dream in a vision when men sleep in slumbering that god does what he opened our ears and sealed up instructions and he made us to understand in the book of psalm that he would teach and he will guide us on which way to go but when we don't dream how do we get to how do we get these instructions these teachings that god has for us so i need you to take your dream life serious put these tips to use and then watch your life like become wonders yes stop worrying stop being angry stop stop worrying stop being angry stop thinking about that bad situation spend time spend that time with the holy ghost enjoy yourself in the holy ghost the scripture said rejoice in the lord again i say unto you rejoice in the lord spend time worshiping the holy spirit speaking to him when you speak to the holy ghost he speaks back to you through dreams and visions so get yourself back on track don't allow that depression have you don't have that that thought of committing suicide have you no spend time worshiping so imagine if you're doing this every day what would your life look like it would be so beautiful your life would be heaven on earth remember the scripture said he said blessed be the god and the father of our lord jesus christ who has given us all that pertains to life and godliness so how would you get all these things that god has given unto us if you don't dream if you don't get the instructions on how to go about your daily doings so i need you to take your dream life serious be, always be be so conscious and be deliberate of about the things you do before you sleep so that your dream life would would be so awesome and yes it will be so awesome thereby making your life a praise on it a beautiful one a heaven on net and a glorious life that is that will be what emulating yes so if this i hope these tips have been able to help it's gonna help you by the power of the holy ghost yes yes it's gonna be of a great help to you i hope that this will be helpful tips to you and if you think this has been your situation and you feel like oh I promise i need you to like pray with me about it okay let's just pray father in the name of jesus lord we thank you for this revelation thank you for this knowledge because it is written with knowledge with knowledge comes understanding thank you for this knowledge thank you for making us to understand how we can actually receive from you true dreams and visions and i pray and ask father that you help us to abide by this because by strength shall no man will, shall no man prevail and you made us understand that a man received nothing except to be given to him from above no we receive the dreams that will make our lives heaven on earth we receive the dreams and the visions that will make our life a praise on earth yes lord thank you for opening our eyes to see you thank you for opening our ears to hear you and our hearts to know you thank you for activating us into deeper realms with you Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for we know you've answered our prayers. Thank you for the faculties of our beings, our ears, ears, our eyes, our heart is open to every of your word, to every of your instructions and teachings. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And as we dream, we remember and our life becomes a wonder, a wonder, a heaven on earth, a life of heaven on earth, a life of praise on earth. Thank you, Father, for knowing you've answered our prayer. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. And yes, and don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. 
and don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notifications whenever i post new videos okay guys from me to you it's a bye see you on the next video bye